Hi, I'm Kyle Jorgensen. Today I'm going to show you how to roll a cone with a four roll, one of our four rolls. This machine's an R Smart 5-709. So it's a five foot uh, four roll with a seven inch top roll. I've got a blank here, this is a quarter inch mild steel. Now, big thing to think about here when I'm running a cone is I've, had, I've got more material or distance on my major side of my cone than I do my minor diamond. Again, when I roll this cone, I'm going to have a different radius here than I do here. Now, is, that, is, the, is the rose rotator, you know, form this material as they travel, I'm going to travel so much distance, but as I rotate, this side has got to travel slower than this side. Now, if I had this cone to do all the time, we could build your machine with tapered top rolls, side rolls, that match, you know, per rotation, the ratio between these two. It, you know, production, really fast, produce that cone. The problem there is you're stuck to that, basically stuck relatively to that cone. Now, we know most shops, job shops, they're, you're going to run into all kinds of cones, different angles, different diameters, different minor majors. So I'm going to show you how to do this with a four roll that essentially has the rolls that are parallel to each other in the same diameter. Now, I'm going to slide this down here. Right? Now, when I'm talking about the machine, this is the drop side, the drop in side. And it has my cone snubber. This is a roller bearing. Now, if I slide my material, I'm going to want to set my machine up with my pitch roll, my center roll. Now, I've got two digital readouts, six digital readouts on the whole machine, but two digital readouts on my pitch roll that tell me the, where I am. And I'm able to tilt my pitch roll. And with the digital readouts, I'm able to see where I'm at. So I pinch tighter, this would be the drive side, tighter on this side, open, drop in side. So I'm gonna grab with the rolls. I wanna pinch the major side of the cone. So I'm gonna start the machine. It's also very important to adjust your pinch pressure to the the part that you're doing, that you're forming. So adjust it to the part that you're forming. Now what would that be, you know, just enough pressure to where you're able to form the part. material is clamped here you can see the gap now I've I've adjusted this exaggerated so I want you to see what's going on now I don't I've got too much tilt right now to actually run this cone so I'm gonna adjust it Adjust my side rolls. You can see how that's sweet. This is my pick of material, but you can actually see where I'm driving this cone. Slipping or sliding here, and I'm actually just driving here. Sliding or slipping the comb through the machine.
a pre bed the ends. The reason, you know, I, I could run this pre bed and pick it up to my side roll like you run a number four roll. This cone's pretty steep, so that I want it to, when I'm under pressure, I don't fully sweep around. That's kind of why I, kind of why I pre bend both ends.